What's up guys? So I haven't recorded in a few days since I got out here to Phoenix. The day I got here, I kind of just unpacked, went to sleep early. The next day I was running around trying to get the Wi-Fi set up for my spot here so I could work. Went out and grabbed some lunch during, it was a hectic day. Um, probably took six hours for me to get the Wi-Fi set up. Was going back and forth with my Airbnb host since I'm in a guest house, going from his house back here, just trying to get it set up. It was a mess. And then I woke up the next day and was throwing up the entire day yesterday. So from seven in the morning to probably eight o'clock last night, just profusely sweating pretty much every half hour getting up to throw up. So that was brutal. Still haven't even gotten the chance to work since I've been out here. Haven't picked the camera back up since I got out here. Yesterday was shot. Took me 12 hours to get that first video uploaded um, for Wednesday's video. So just a rough first few days. I mean, with everything new comes challenges. So um, it's to be expected. Food poisoning obviously was not to be expected, but Wi-Fi problems and things like that, those were. But I'm picking back up the camera again today. But I'm really just trying to get back to normal today. I still woke up feeling weird, you know, slowly but surely get back to feeling normal some little things i got to do today i need to go get some laundry detergent really need to do a load of laundry it was sweating through all my clothes yesterday so and we'll go get some detergent maybe just a few other small things but i'll see you guys then Side note guys, where I'm at in Phoenix, not the best area. Didn't know it really prior, but a lot of homeless, a lot of drugs, a lot of crime. It is what it is, the spot I'm at is safe. I don't feel, you know, any worries, but it is definitely uh, not the nicest area for sure. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below if you've ever eaten at Cava before, like a Mediterranean Chipotle. I thought it was fire. First time I'd ever eaten there. I'm pretty sure that's what gave me food poisoning. So let me know if you've ever had it in the comments. I doubt you've got food poisoning from it. Maybe you have, maybe it's a maybe it's a thing. Maybe I didn't know. Let me know though. Probably not gonna go back there. Say less. Call me a seven-year-old kid. Maybe I am a seven-year-old kid, but this Mott's, Mott's applesauce hitting at like a eight five right now. And it's not just because I haven't eaten any food in 24 hours. It's not, I swear, I swear it's not. Grabbing some lunch right now at this little Italian spot. Maybe not little, but it's an Italian grocery store, bakery, eatery, it's called the Falcos. Uh, we're gonna go check that out, see how it is. All right, just got back from DeFalco's. The place looked dope. I mean, they had all the classics that you would imagine in an Italian, you know, deli or bakery. We got a chicken parm sandy. Looks pretty good. Since I did a stupid review on Mott's applesauce last night, I thought it's only right that, I, that I'm gonna have to do a review for this, you know, chicken parm sandy. I wanna say it too, before I do eat, take a bite of this sandy, before I give it a rating, you know, I am a, an Italian from the Northeast, so I guess I do have a high standard for a sandwich like this, but let's see what's good with it. Chicken parm, sandy scale. I think we're hitting at like a seven two. Definitely could, could use some work. Don't even know if those are chicken cutlets in there. Seems more like a, a chicken tendy in there. So give it a seven two, we're still gonna body it. All my real Italians know, best tea out. San Benedetto's peach tea. Haven't had this tea in ages. And only really find this at good Italian spots. So my real Italians know. Revised rating guys, I'm going with a, with a six four. Didn't deserve a seven two. We're going with a six four. 
So not too crazy of a video uh, this Sunday, guys. More of a laid back one. Really didn't do a ton this week, being that I was down bad, you know, the majority of the week. But thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It goes a long way. Hit the like button. It goes a long way. Drop a comment. That would be awesome. Be on the lookout for Wednesday's video coming up. Should be a good one coming up here next week. But again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.